But let's focus on Group D's other match. Croatia secured their ticket for the last 16 by beating Scotland 3-1 at Hampton Park. Vlasic, Modric and Perisic scoring the goals against a poor Scotland team who will not make history by being the first team in their history to reach the knockout stages at a major tournament. Uh, but finally, Ruben, a Croatia squad that delivered on the quality that we've come to expect from them. Yeah, like you say, Scotland wasn't that good tonight, that's for sure. It's already great to see Luka Modric play well. He was the decisive player. He was their key player tonight. His goal was just fantastic. Afterwards, he had the the, uh, the decisive pass out of the, the corner kick for uh, for the last goal of uh, of Perisic. So yeah, that that was great. I think that everybody will be um, will be saying, well, Croatia is not the same team as in 2018. That's for, that's that's for sure. We can see that. Uh, they don't have the same quality. Their players are getting older. There's a new generation coming, but they're not there yet. But I think for the tournament, it's good that they're through. At least uh, we can have still a nice game with, with, with the Croatians. You know that they always try to, to, to play. Uh, but I don't think that they will make the final like in, in 2018. Well, let's take a final look at the standings in Group D. Now, as uh, mentioned, England do top uh, that group with a tough game to come no matter what happens. Croatia are second and will play the second place team in Group E. So you would think uh, potentially uh, quite an easy game or, or straightforward game for the Croatians. The Czech Republic have also qualified with four points, but we still need to wait and see who uh, they uh, could play, including Ruben's uh, home team, the Netherlands. Uh, but Ruben, the Czech uh, Republic, probably one of the bigger surprises uh, and the better surprise of this tournament. Yeah, they, they played also today. It wasn't bad. I mean, they had some opportunities. Susek maybe should have scored in the, in the first half. It's not sensational, but it's, it's a real team performance every time they play. Against Scotland, I thought that they were, they were good. Against Croatia, they, they deserved the points, so they deserve to be in the next round. And we'll see against who they will play. I think that the Dutch will probably prefer the Czechs uh, compared to, again, the group of death. But we'll see what, happened tomorrow, what happens tomorrow in, uh, in Group E because that's uh, crucial. Well,